Hey everybody, we are going to talk about clocks in this video. So you all know what are clocks, right? A clock basically has two hands. One is the longer hand, another is the shorter hand. The shorter hand is also called as an hour hand and the longer hand is also called as a minute hand. Now the circumference of a clock is actually divided into 60 parts and each of this part is known as a minute space right so there are 60 minute spaces right if I ask you what is the current time being showed in this clock your answer should be it is one o'clock why because the hour hand is pointing towards one and the minute hand is pointing towards 12 which means there are zero minutes and one hour it's a one o'clock. Now let us look at various important points regarding clocks. Let us look at the first point. In every hour both the hands coincide once. One hour actually means 60 minutes and by 60 minute this minute hand will complete one full revolution. right? And when it completes one full revolution it overlaps this hour hand, this short hand. And that's what this point says that the minute hand overlaps the hour hand once in every hour okay now let us move on to the second point when two hands are at right angles they are 15 minute spaces apart now in this figure that is shown here this is the hour hand and this is the minute hand and these are now in right angles now when these are in right angles they are 15 minute spaces apart. If you count these minute spaces these will come out as 15. Even if the hands are like this, this is the smaller hand and this is the longer hand. If they are at right angles they are definitely 15 minute spaces apart. Okay, Let us move on to the third point now. When the hands are in opposite directions they are 30 minute spaces apart. Right. When these two hands are in opposite directions, these are 30 minute spaces apart. So if you count the minute spaces, they will come out as 30. Right. Let's move on to the fourth point and the fifth point. The fourth point says that the angle traced by an hour hand in 12 hours is 360 degrees. Now each hour, the hour hand points to a particular label. Now after 12 hours, it will mean that this hour hand has completed one full revolution. And one full revolution is actually 360 degrees, isn't it? In the similar way, the angle traced by the minute hand in 60 minutes is 360 degrees. A minute hand also travels one full revolution in 60 minutes. Hence, we say that the angle traced is 360 degrees, right? And finally, the sixth point. In one hour, the difference between the minute spaces traveled by the minute hand and the hour hand is 55. Well, to understand this, we have a clock here and currently it is 1 o'clock. Now, after one hour, the situation will be like this. The hour hand will point to 2 and the minute hand will obviously point to 12 because it is 2 o'clock now. Right. Now, how much distance has the minute hand traveled? Well, it has traveled a complete revolution, right? Which means it has traveled 60 minute spaces. Okay. Well, how many minute spaces has the hour hand traveled? Well, previously the hour hand was pointing towards 1. Now it is pointing towards 2. So it has traveled 5 minute spaces isn't it? Right? So what is the difference? Well, the difference is actually 55 minute spaces. And that's what this point is trying to tell us. That the distance is 55 minute spaces between the minute hand and the hour hand if the time spent is 1 hour. Okay? Let's complete this video by solving a question. So the question is, Find the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock when the time is 3 hours 25 minutes. Right? And you have been given this clock. 
it is 3 hours 25 minutes in this clock and you have been asked to find this angle theta. Okay, so let us consider the starting position of both the hands as this 12. Okay, now to find what is theta, we will first calculate what is the angle traced by the hour hand and the angle traced by the minute hand. Right, let us name them x and y. So the value of theta, that means the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand, will be angle traced by the minute hand, that is y minus angle traced by the hour hand. Right? Now before we go ahead, let us convert this 3 hours 25 minutes into hours. So 3 hours 25 minutes can be written as 3 hours plus 25 by 60 hours, isn't it? So I can now cancel out terms here. 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 12 is 60. So this is 12 3 is 36 plus 5 is 41 by 12 h. So the time is 41 by 12 hours, total time passed. Okay, now let us consider the hour hand. So in 12 hours, the angle traced by the hour hand is actually 360 degrees, isn't it? Now the time passed is actually 41 by 12 hours. So in 41 by 12 hours, how much is the angle traced? And that is x. So we can directly cross multiply and equate. So x is equal to 360 times 41 by 12 divided by 12. Okay. So 12 times 30 is 360, 3 times 10 is 30 and 3 times 4 is 12. Right. So we have 410 by 4 and that will come out as 102.5. Right. That is the angle traced by the hour hand in 3 hours 25 minutes. Now we'll have to calculate the angle traced by the minute hand in 25 minutes, isn't it? So for a minute hand, the angle traced in 60 minutes is actually 360 degrees, right? So what is the angle traced in 25 minutes, right? So again cross multiply and equate, we get y is equal to 360 times 25 by 60, right? This zero cancels out, 6 times 6 is 36 and 25 times 6 is 150. So y is 150. Now what do we need? Well, we just need to subtract x from y. So 150 minus x is 102.5, right? So theta is equal to 47.5 degrees. And that is the angle between the two hands. That's 47.5 degrees.